All right, welcome back everybody. I've been getting a little bit lazy on my chainsaws, getting them running and fixed up and everything. Haven't been putting stuff on YouTube and everything. So I'm gonna introduce this saw, which I don't think I did. My uh, 1964-1965 McCullough 790. I'm told it's a limited production chainsaw, 103 cc. Um, I did get this from the original owner with my other CP 125s if you didn't see the video on one of them Currently what I've been trying to do with it and successfully have done waiting for it to cure it came with a Screw in Haley coil, which it had the incorrect one so I Just got done about an hour ago tapping in and doing the proper save a thread one in there the sealant is currently curing on it, and I have it lifted up so that none of the uh, stuff I sprayed out the cylinder with dirties it up or anything. So, it's got about 24 hours to sit before I can do that. It does have ignition, which is originally how I found out the issue at hand with it. Get that back in there. Anyways, we'll just leave it out for a minute. So... You know, I checked for ignition, it had it, and when I went to put it back in, that's when I realized it had an issue. So, thought about it and everything, and looked up on YouTube how to fix this, and this was the best solution. So, we're hoping that's going to work and bring her back to life. Had everything with it, and it doesn't have a full wrap handlebar, normal, but not worried. Had everything with it except the starter. And finding a right side starter is near impossible, but thankfully, with the help of Facebook and some people I've bought some stuff off before, I got one that works and it come off of a D44. So, the only difference is it's going to have the flying goose, which will add a nice little touch to it, I guess. This one has the original rubber chip flapper thing. Keeps it off of you. Starter paws are in great shape. One thing it looks like it has done in its lifetime was sit down on concrete or something that holds moisture and you can see the magnesium rod on it. So I kind of plan on a, I guess it seems a little weird, but get like JB Weld, the quick stuff, mix up a bunch of it and just rub it inside the rod there and then sand it down smooth. This one does have... The Tillerson carburetor. I've seen some of them that had a primer one or whatnot. Douglas fir is what this one was cutting down in California along with its other two, so that's why the air filter has all the red sawdust on it. But other than that, got the Tillerson carb, and I don't know what happened to it, but it came to me like it. The choke butterfly is completely missing inside there. So I'll have to source down that for an HL-19 or try to find the parts somewhere. Better than that, it's all there. It's all threaded. It's a uh, gas tank looks pretty clean on the inside. Lines look good. All hooked up. Original owner, he said, uh, Hey, I bet you've put gas in that, it'll fire right up. I said, well, I gotta find a starter for it first. So, found that. Now waiting for this to all cure up on me and everything. These can be converted. They later on came out with these in a left side start has all the threadings on the flywheel for it and everything it does have an automatic oiler no idea if it works yet pressing on that i have no clue no fluids no nothing and i don't know how long this one has been sitting but underside looks pretty good it does have with it 
and it belonged to this one. I'm kind of debating if I want to keep it on this one or put it on the CP. A couple of spikes that come down that hook up and will hold it down into the dirt so it doesn't vibrate anywhere. It holds the chain up too off the ground a little better. Muffler's off. Had a bunch of debris in it earlier. I got it cleaned off. So it'll have to go back on too. But right now the piston's on the bottom to allow air and everything to circulate for that to cure for the next 24 hours. So pretty much all I got on this one right now. Hopefully I'll have a start video and get that back up tomorrow or sometime soon for everybody. At least breathe life right now until we get warm weather back. Right now it's hovering in the 30s and 40s and 50s next week. So it breathes life, then I guess I'll go and clean it up and everything and we'll stick her on a shelf or whatnot and so. Alrighty. Thanks for watching.